Greetings, my name is Dan Schaefer, and I'm making this content so that I can share with you the things that have helped me over the years on my journey to health and wellness, which is ultimately happiness because health is wealth. So this is Gratitude in Motion. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a product I came across from uh, Mike Adams, who is the Health Ranger. Some people may know his podcast. He does the Situation Update, and he was talking about a company that makes heirloom seeds. I've been in the market for heirloom seeds because I think it's something that everybody should have. If like the world decides to explode and everything collapses, hey, I wanna be able to grow some vegetables to keep myself alive. And i had been looking around for heirloom seeds, which are basically non-GMO seeds, right? So all the, the crops these days are genetically modified so that your tomatoes look perfect, your apples don't have brown spots, etc. And the company that he spotlighted was called heirloomseedkits.com. So after some quick inspection of their website, I decided to order their product. Uh, Mike gave a discount code, which I will give to you. I can't vouch for it. I don't know if it'll still work, but it was GARDEN2022. And I was able to save some on the kit that I bought. So the first thing that I noticed when the kit arrived is that it was way bigger than what I had expected. And so this is the size of it. You could see it's fairly large. And I was looking online. I couldn't find any videos of people reviewing these kits. So I thought, hey, this is timely material. Let me put out some photos and information about what I've learned from the art kit. Uh, so yeah, it's called heirloomseeds.com, no, heirloomseedkits.com, and it's ARK, which stands for Agricultural Resource Kit. Now the instructions that came with this said that it will last for up to 15 years in this sealed tube. I imagine it will last longer as long as there's no like adverse conditions that are going on with it. The other thing that the instructions said is that you might need a hammer and a chisel to open this up because it's airtight. And yeah, that I can tell you, it's airtight, so I can't open it up. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get a hammer and chisel and we'll take a look at what's inside. Whoa, okay, no joke. I hope you have a hammer if the, if things really hit the fan because you're never going to get that open with your hands. But after a little bit of elbow grease, we got it. And uh, yeah, the seeds spilled out everywhere. So there's a lot of stuff in here. So cool. It comes with this booklet, which gives a guide to each seed on how to grow it and how to harvest the seeds that you get from that plant. Uh, I'll just give you a quick run through of everything here. I tried to lay them out a little bit, um, but there's just so many I couldn't organize them. Lots of beans, lots of herbs and medicinals, cilantro, yeah, I mean you could see everything that's here. This is cool. When you order on the website, it'll tell you basically how many seeds you're getting in, in each kit. I got the all-in-one kit because I figured I don't know how to pick and pack. Let's just throw in everything that they think is right for the complete garden kit. And again, they give you the numbers of the seeds, but I doubt anybody is counting these seeds. So you just sort of take what you can get. But this is super cool. I can't wait to grow some of these and see how they come up. And yeah, once you have heirloom seeds, you can take the seeds from the things that you grow and continue to propagate the plant so that you never have to buy seeds again, basically. And that's the essentials of farming. I don't have a super green thumb, but I have grown some things in the past and I don't think it'll be too tough. Plants just like some basic stuff, water, nutrients, sunlight, and you really can't go wrong. Wow, what a bounty, look at all that. If you like this content, please give me a like. Please share it with your friends on MySpace or Friendster or Snapchat or whatever social media platform you're using. Give me a comment below. Are you growing something in your garden? What does your setup look like? Where did you get your seeds from? What do you think are the best things to be growing to sustain yourself? Do you find that growing your own food 
gives you a closer connection with your food? Does it resonate more with your frequency because it's alive as well? Let me know in the comments and I hope to hear from you all soon.